Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my latest layout for Hey Little Magpie. And today I'm using the Simple Stories Wildflower Collection. And the colours of this are really me. I really like the pink, the blue and uh, the yellow. I think uh, it's got a lot of use. So I want to use this 12 by 12 piece of paper as the main body of my layout. And it's the Radiate Sunshine patterned paper. I want to bend the corner down. I've gone to get a ruler so that I can actually bend it accurately. I'm not going from corner to corner so uh, the ruler is not quite long enough but it's going to give me enough to be able to put a, a decent bend in the paper because I really like both sides. You'll find if you look at this collection there are some really lovely pattern papers and this way I get to use both sides. Now to cover the corner I'm going to use the Everyday Moments paper uh, just at the moment I've got all of it behind but I'm actually going to just cut that triangle off later on. I'm just going through the 6x8 pad because I'd like some papers to go behind my photograph. At the very beginning I did start with a photograph that was much smaller but as I um, realised as I moved forward that it was too small a photo and too detailed, needed something bigger and bolder because obviously these patterns are beautiful. So I wanted to put that there. So I've cut a triangle of paper. I'm just using another 12 by 12 just to make sure that I'm making it 12 by 12 in the end um, because that would just be uh, odd otherwise. So I'm just using some sellotape on the back to stick that triangle on to the uh, folded paper to make it back into a 12 by 12. And uh, when I'm happy with that, because it, it there's, was a little bit of it uh, lumpy at the top but now when it works then I'm, uh, I'm happy that it's now 12 by 12 and I can carry on and uh, I really like that with the fold so I'm going to bring in some papers that I've chosen other yellowy patterns uh, to go behind this photo that was taken one spring day of my daughter I think it's a selfie in a confetti field um, locally in the Midlands there's a couple of places where they grow flowers specifically to make confetti and they're open to the public but literally for a very short window of time like a week or so every year and my daughter was very uh, lucky to be able to go to visit one a few summers ago and this is a selfie she took there. So I'm now looking at doing two clusters one either side of the photograph I've got these flowers on the left that I die cut from a 6x8 paper and ha now I'm looking through all the ephemera that goes with this range to see what I can put either side of the photo. I don't want to cover too much of it up but I do want to balance uh, it out a little bit so I'm going to just have a look what I've got to choose from. I also bring in the tag paper. Simple Stories really know how to make tag papers. Um, in fact they call it tag elements and I'm definitely going to be using some of these tags to tuck in behind the flowers by the photograph. So I'm just having a look which coloured ones that I want to tuck in. I want potentially bolder, um, plainer ones is the way I'm thinking at the moment. So maybe one or two on the right and one on the left. That pink looks really good there with that yellow flower and so does that grey blue. So they may stay there. So it just leave me needing one for the left. So I'm just going to look through the other colours and make a decision of what I want. I know that I'll end up using these tags separately so it doesn't matter that I'm cutting them apart, not quite knowing which one that I wanted so um, that's no not too big a deal. I really like this pink one with the butterflies on and I think that is the one that makes it finally uh, onto the layout and uh, will be tucked in behind those photographs. So I'm just having a quick look see what other bits and pieces that I can add in any either side into the clusters and I will also be thinking starting to think now about what I want to title this layout. So I'm just going to move these bits off and start to stick things down because I know that I'm happy with them. So I will just layer the photograph up and start to get it into position. I do add a couple of small foam pads underneath this fold just to actually get it to stick in place because I felt it was moving too much. And that's really helped it and I've just tweaked the edge up on, on there so that it doesn't look so flat. So I'm going to go back to putting things in the uh, essentially the um, the position that I would want them to be in. I do move things around a lot. Um, I probably infuriate you. I do this. I don't commit very quickly to sticking things down. Uh, I like to have a good idea of where it's going first. So I quite like the word grow here that's come off the foam sticker sheet as the title. 
maybe with a um, smaller word and or something underneath, but we'll see. So I'm going to actually stick the photograph down with a couple of faux pads uh, above the fold just so that the photo sits nicely across that. So I love this gadget. Um, it's from um, We Are Memory Keepers. It's the for punching holes, essentially. It's sad what, what you really like, isn't it? But it does five different sizes of holes and it's perfect. Size number four is perfect for the Simple Stories tags. Um, it used to just make me mad when I would try and punch them and you'd end up with a white ring or you'd be a bit off centre, but this is exactly the right size and it's a bit it's a bit heavy in the hand, but it's very good at what it does. So simple pleasures, eh? But uh, so I punched the tags, I punched holes in the tags. So now I'm actually going to look at the flower clusters. I really like those flowers that I fussy cut on the left. Took a little bit of time, but that's okay. I think they work really, really well. I've decided that actually I need a little pop of pink above the photo, just to lift it from the yellow triangle at the background. I'm not sure all of that makes the final cut, but I think there is a bit of pink that I do finally keep. So I'm just getting these tags into position. Not so easy to sort this flower cluster, because obviously the other one was all all connected, but I will actually, I'll work it out in the end. I'm also aware now that I want to fit that title in at the bottom as well. So I'm just going to be fiddling as I start to stick these bits down into position. I would really recommend you check out the new releases from Simple Stories at the Hey Ma Little Magpie store. Uh, there's always new um, stock being added to the shop and there's uh, a wealth of scrapbooking supplies including inks and cardstock and obviously the latest collection. So have a good look in the store when you get a chance. Also there's a, a design team, so there's a blog and an Instagram account. So I would recommend that you check those out as well if you're looking for inspiration for using any of these ranges. If you enjoy the videos, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and that way that you can see more of uh, what we make. So I'm just coming back in and tweaking this that I fussy cut. There was a couple of bits that I missed out at the time, um, probably because I was doing it in front of the TV. And I'm just now finishing them off because I wasn't sure if I was actually going to cut them off or not and keep them. So uh, I'm just making sure that's ready and I'm going to use a couple of foam pads to stick that over that pink tag. With the flowers on the right now, I feel like the balance is pretty much there. So I'm just going to add a couple of more flowers up on the top left before I start to get the title into position. Just making sure I've not missed anything. I do this a lot. Just double check everything, make sure there's anything I want to add. And now I found a tab so I can put the date in at the top right. And I found a couple of butterflies. And I think with all the flowers and the fact it was taken in a flower field, I think uh, a butterfly or two will make it on the final cut. So I'm just having a quick look around seeing what could, uh, what else could be added. And I found a little um, word banner that could also go under the title, which says wild and free. So it would say grow wild and free. And I really like that. So I'm going to get the word grow stuck down. These are really nice uh, puffy um, stickers. And um, I'm just going to trim that off there so it doesn't cover the title too much. And then I'll glue it back um, just so you can still read the title. And I'll add that again on a little bit of foam. You can see me cutting into the foam pads. It's not because I'm tight, it's just I like them to be um, smaller pieces, but I don't buy the really tiny ones because I have difficulty getting the back off. I have to keep my nails short for work and I do find it difficult to get the uh, paper off the back. So I prefer to cut into bigger ones and I find that just a little bit easier. So I'm just sticking those leaves back into place with a little bit of wet glue and that's Nouveau adhesive that I find really useful. We're just going to add a couple of uh, enamel dots just to highlight that wild and free banner. And I think that I'm very nearly there. So that little bit of pink does make it above the photo in the end. So that's stuck in. You barely notice it, but uh, I do think it lifts that bit of photograph. I need to speak to my daughter to get the date of the photograph. And I've come in now with some wax thread. I don't know whether you've used this before. Much... Um, different feel to like embroidery thread. It's definitely got a wax surface. Uh, I was going to put some in all three tags. I actually weave it between the two tags on the right eventually once I've thought about it. But you can bend it a little. Really nice feel 
actually, and they do sell this in the Hey Little Magpie store in a number of colours. And in fact, it comes wound on bobbins as well, so it's really easy to store on a book ring. Uh, I think I think if you buy the bigger sets, it, it even comes with the ring to store it on. So I'm just tweaking some of these threads to get them where I want. Um, and that's a nice shade of dusky pink that goes really well with the rest of the layout. So I'm just having a look on the sticker sheet and I decide to add a sticker butterfly there on the left and another one a little bit lower on the right. I'm just going to add him on a little bit of foam to stand out over those flowers so they kind of still go with the diagonal. Um, and considering how many patterns uh, I've got going on, I think you've still got a little bit of rest space, particularly above the photograph. So I don't think it's completely manic. So uh, I hope you like this really spring layout that is, I very nearly finished here. Just going to add that date at the top in a minute that uh, I've now, it was 2018. Goodness, it doesn't feel that long ago, but that's what COVID's done to us, isn't it? So anyway, here's the final image. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now.